Learners. I am Miss House and I'm a kindergarten teacher from right here in Arkansas. I am so excited that you'll be joining me this morning. Today, we're going to be discussing what it means to visualize a story. Have you ever been curled up with your favorite book and you realize that the author did such a good job describing that setting that you feel like you are right actually there in the book beside that main character? One of my favorite books that I've read recently takes place in the swampy marshes in Louisiana. And although I've never been there in real life, I felt like I visited there when I was reading that book. I felt that thick, heavy, warm air surrounding me. I could see those blue herons swooping down and snatching a fish right out of the water. I could hear a boat off in the distance as it searched for crabs along the shore. I could smell that heavy scent of fish that lingered in the air. The author wrote in such a way that I could use my five senses to visualize that story. The author used descriptive language that made it easy for me to transport right into the setting. She told me what it looked like, what it felt like, and what it even smelled like. Visualizing means that you're creating a mental image as you read. It's kind of like creating a movie inside of your mind while you read. And as, as a reader, you're connecting those words you read with images that you create right in your own mind. Kind of like this. So we have this little guy here and he is gonna be reading a story. As he's reading that story, he's gonna be thinking about what he's hearing, what he can touch or feel, what he can see and smell, and if he's eating something, what he can taste. So you're gonna use those five senses to create that movie in your mind. I can use those senses to visualize a story. So let's practice. I'm going to tell a story and I want you to listen and create your own mental image of the story. As I'm telling the story, I want you to think. I'm picturing, I imagine, I feel, I can see or hear or smell or taste or touch. Are you ready for my story? In my story today, we're going to be visiting a very special beach that I went to once as a child. I hope as I'm telling my story that you are going to feel like you're sitting right beside me on the beach. I sit in that soft white sand with my legs stretched out so my feet could feel that cool wave as it crashed into the shore every few seconds. The sun is angry today and I can feel it biting at my skin as I sit here squinting at that open water. I really should have brought a hat to shade my face, but I was in a hurry to get down here today and I forgot it. It's busy season and the beach is filled with families. There's a young girl running towards the shore and squealing each time the waves crash near her. As she runs past me, droplets of cool salt water drop onto my legs and I jump at the shock of that cold water as it meets my sunburned skin. I reach into my bag and I feel for that tube of sunscreen I threw in there as I was rushing out the door. I flip that top open and the scent of coconut fills the air as I squeeze some of that lotion into my palm. I close my eyes and I tip my face towards the sun and I breathe in that salty warm air. The smell of sunscreen as it mixes with that salty fishy aroma of the sea always reminds me of the summers I spent here years ago. This is my first time back to this place since I was a child, and I feel completely content. Okay, so were you able to visualize while I was telling that story? Did you feel like you were right there on the beach with me? What did you feel or hear or see? Could you hear that child screaming as she ran into the waves? Visualizing is a great tool that readers use to help themselves step into the story and to better understand what the author is trying to share. So remember when you're writing, be sure to write descriptive details that help your reader step into the story. Tell them what they see or hear or feel. Does the story take place somewhere where it's sunny? Or is it raining? Is it snowing? Or is it hot? Are there animals you can hear? And what noises do they make? What can you smell? Can you smell the heat as it rises from the asphalt? Or maybe the fried chicken from a nearby food truck? As you're reading, look for sensory details to help yourself visualize. And as you're writing, be sure to include those same kinds of sensory details to help your readers visualize the story that you are sharing. 
Thank you for joining me on Rise and Shine this week. I hope that you had fun learning how to visualize stories, and I hope that you take some time today to actually write your own story and be sure to include those descriptions that help your reader know what it looks like, feels like, smells like, what they can hear, and what they can see. So I hope to see you back here tomorrow for another day of Rise and Shine.